you're going to have. But if your name, if you're on this list, if you are presently doing any of these things on this list, and it's not an exhaustive list. I mean, the list, if we had a list of all the sins that we could do, it would be bigger than this whole courtyard out here. So, but presently, pre water, bro. presently, water? presently, if you are doing bro? these things, you're on your way down. Yes. That's why we're saying that hell awaits you. Now, I've probably been on this list more than most of you. Do we have any uh, porn watchers in the crowd right now? Any, any porn? Yeah! My hand is my best woman! Three. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. You. Okay, at least seven of you. I know most of you are too shy to admit you're watching pornography. But, there's another one. Now, do you realize, you know, in this, in this great country we're living in, where capitalism reigns, do you realize that you are supplying the demand for sex trafficking? By watching pornography, you are supplying the demand for sex trafficking. I'm just saying, yeah, not, every, every, not every woman that you're watching in porn or man that you're watching in porn, definitely women, wants to be doing that. They're, some of them women are being forced That's into right. that pornography. It's true. And definitely the underage women, girls. Oh. So you you are the reason why. You are one of the reasons. If you're watching porn, you're one of the reasons why we have people that are being human traffic. So you need to stop that. And now, not to mention, do you know what Jesus said about you porn watchers out there? What did he say? What did he say? And I used to watch porn just as much as many of you. Give me a verse. Hey, hey, John. Call out Malcolm the mas Masturbator up there. Malcolm the Masturbator? Who's Malcolm the Masturbator? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah. Malcolm the Masturbator. Christian. Masturbating Christian. You're not, you're not, you're Malcolm? Malcolm? So you're a masturbator, Malcolm? Hell yeah. Why do you masturbate? To relieve my sexual attention. It relieves your sexual attention? Well, do you know what will relieve your tension more than any orgasm? Not knowing Jesus Christ. God. Hell no. Knowing no Jesus Christ. Him. Having a personal relationship with him. Because that's eternal life. To know the one true God and his son, Jesus Christ. I don't want to say no. I don't want to There's no high like the most high. There's no peace for the wicked. And you know what Jesus said, Malcolm, about your masturbation? <laughs> Jesus said, if your hand, Malcolm, if your hand causes you to sin, it chop it off. Ah! Oh! Jesus said, if your eye your causes you to sin, gouge it out. He said it'd be better. He said it'd be better for you to go into heaven, missing your arm, missing your hand, or missing your eye, than to go into hell with all your members. The big man did this to me in the first place. You're in big trouble. You're in big trouble, Malcolm. You know what you need to do, Malcolm? Let me get this final thought out. You need to put down your penis and hold up your Bible. Pick up your Bible. So. It's been hanging here for a minute. Masturbators, <laughs> masturbators, <laughs> masturbators are in big, big trouble with God. How do you think that most homosexuals became homosexuals? Male member with a male member. It all starts with pornography and masturbation. Yes, today's masturbator is tomorrow's homosexual. Oh, the fuck up. Tomorrow's homosexual. Do you know? Do you know the difference between a masturbator and a pedophile? With me, I'm the preacher. I'm preaching. The difference between a masturbator and a pedophile is just a few more pride parades. That's all.
I did. I did. I used to do that. I don't do that anymore. What about me? What the hell do you relate? I can relate to the flesh never being satisfied. When I went to Miami, Ohio, I'm a veteran of the United States Air Force, and when I went to Miami, I was selling cocaine, I was sleeping with all the homies.
Oh, here you go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. My question is this. Technically speaking, you come up here under the banner of God. I seen on that side that said prideful. Are you not prideful under the banner of God to people? No, you yeah. I'm, okay, am I not prideful because we, because of the banner that says prideful? Am I not being prideful? You're saying with this you're banner? Prideful. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. You're saying uh, you're going to hell. All right. So that's like, yeah, I see the prideful right here. Yeah, you're a good person, so you're going to hell too. All right. Would you agree that what separates us from God is sin? You wouldn't agree with that. Okay. Well, I would say that all sin that be in anyone's life, the root of that sin would be pride. Pride says I can do it my way. You vote Democrat. I don't need any rules. I don't need any standards. I don't need anybody telling me what to do. Remember, that's what I'm saying. Okay? So, yeah. the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 6, there are six things you can look at Proverbs chapter 6, verse 1 through 5. There are six things you can look at Proverbs chapter 6, verse 1 through 5. And there are six things that God hates. Does anybody know what those six things are? Do you want to look it up and read it out of the Bible, or do you want me to just quote it? I can almost quote it. I don't know. Quote it. Quote it. All right, I'm going to quote it. Quote it. I'll be right back. Excuse me, Mark. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. God says there are six things I hate, yea, seven are an abomination to me. God hates a proud look. Okay, let's talk about that for a minute. If God hates, if God hates a proud look, how much more does God hate a pride parade? If God hates a proud look, how much more would he hate a parade about pride? So if, so God hates a proud look, if God hates a lying tongue, are you a liar? Do we have any liars in the crowd today? What's a liar? Any more liars? Which of you support abortion and pro choice? Oh, she's getting very prideful with her brothers and sisters. Like she came out of the house. God hates you that way. God hates you. God hates you. God hates you. I'm quoting directly from Scripture. God benevolently loves you all. But he also has a perfect, holy, and righteous hatred for those that have a proud look, that have lying tongues, that hands that shed innocent blood. He also hates a heart that devises wicked imaginations. Those of you that are lusting. Have you ever been in a class? Have you ever been in a class and there was this really hot girl? This really hot girl and you noticed her? And you're like, man, I like to hit that. God hates that. Yeah, God hates that. Hey. That's a wicked imagination. I say that's oh, a wicked friend. imagination. <laughs> yes. Keep and I'm trying to hit that shit. Who's going to get drunk this weekend, maybe? Hell yeah. Who's going to get drunk later tonight? Hell yeah. Get who, who's going to get drunk later tonight? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He hates a heart that devises wicked imaginations. He hates, and this is, the, this is for you that are going to get high tonight or drunk this weekend. God hates feet. Feet.
Earlier today, there was a table over here. There was a table over here that was promoting Islam. The sixth thing about hate is a false witness. We can spread lies. Anybody, okay? People make mistakes, and people, uh, I mean, um, God forgive you, okay? Oh, you cannot say that God hates people. That's, That's wrong. That's what you need to do. Verse. You see, I, I'm giving you with the word of God. You're giving me uh, the book of first opinions. This isn't my opinion. This is the word of God. This is the word of God. Okay, number seven. Number seven. Because remember, remember, this is Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. Six things got eight. Seven are abominations. Number seven. Number seven of what God hates is those that are sowing discord among brethren. So if I were to go over here, if I were to go over to this guy right here and start talking bad about my brother and start backbiting and gossiping and causing division, God hates that. He hates when you do that. But you see, but you're not my brother in the Lord. So I can, I can tell you that you're not my brother. You're a, you're a child of the devil. So, By your confession, you've confessed that you're a masturbator. Right. So we know that we don't have the same father, right? My father. So my one thing comes to your coke dealing, drug selling. That's in my past. You're presently a masturbator. So okay, all I do is masturbate. I've been forgiven. You sell drugs. How do you know? How do you know? That's 20 years ago. How do you know? I've been forgiven. I've been washed. I've been. How do you know? between a dead religion and, and this true uh, so holy religion is that we have a savior Jesus Christ. Amen. He, he, he was raised from the dead in front of 500 witnesses. So, he was man. seen. Jesus didn't uh, appear to die on the cross for our sins. He died on the cross for our sins. But he didn't stay dead. He rose from the dead. And that's who we preach. Jesus Christ. His death, burial, and resurrection. I hate you. I was saying he beat my daughter. You mean to tell me? All I do is beat my face. How much sin does it take? One sin. Everybody. One sin. You everybody. I'm not judging. Right. I'm making a temporal judgment, but not an eternal judgment. Like I said, we're not here to stone anybody. I didn't bring I didn't, I didn't, I didn't stone you. I never stoned you. That's a word. Yeah, yeah. Masturbators is up there. The biggest sin on this side is the fact that Medea is going to hell. Fake Christians. All right. Medea do to you. Fake Christians. Malcolm was a little 
brown eyed, beautiful little baby boy. Yes, all, he all, was. all of his nieces and nephews, all, everybody in his family uh, was so happy to have Malcolm. You know, his grandma and mom and family was calling everybody and telling them how wonderful this beautiful and baby boy was. And then Malcolm, and then Malcolm started to grow up. Malcolm went to public school. Malcolm was in kindergarten. Malcolm was in. He, he, he started to get curious. Malcolm was getting real, uh, uh, you know, brainwashed within the public school system. Started to believe in evolution. Started to believe that we all come from monkeys. Started to believe uh, that it's okay to look at your way with magazines. Started to believe it was normal uh, to sell drugs. Started to believe that it was okay to sell made by God, an innocent baby who knew no right and wrong, did nothing wrong, he grew up to be the monster he is today. Awesome. Oh, oh, the oh, baby monster. The master baiting monster that he is today. So, it's not God's fault that you are the way you are, huh? Right. You reject his love by disobeying his command. You don't love God with all your heart, huh? Like I said before, I don't do none of the rest of that shit on it. Well, I mean, I probably do, but... Okay! Well, you're right. Well, then you're a good person. What's going to be like good? No, hold on. Why is going to be like this? I know! I know! No, seriously, why is going to be like this? Hold on, you said you don't love me. Malcolm, you doing it for money right now, right? You got a YouTube, you got a YouTube channel, don't you? It's not monetized. No. Oh. We're here because we know the truth. We're here, we know the truth. And we have an obligation because of our love for God. Hold on, let me finish answering this question. We, are, we were, like I said, we were all beautifully and wonderfully made by God. But all of us, like Malcolm, all of us, including myself, we've, got, we, we've turned our back on God. We've, 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 let me finish answering the question. We've all turned our back on God. We've gotten further away from God. By our actions, we begin to put ourselves first, we begin to put money first, we begin to put our education first, we begin to put sports first, we begin to put all of these other things in our life first. When God is a jealous God, the word of God says he's a jealous God, he's a consuming fire. Amen. Hebrews 12 29 says that God's jealous of you, Malcolm. God's jealous of each one of us. He desires to be first. Matthew 6.33 says this, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and God want everything to you. You see, what happens is we get distracted. We get distracted by all of these things. We put this on YouTube? All of these things. We want to do. So God's jealous. God wants to be first. But God commands that you would love him with all of your heart, all of your mind, all of your soul and strength. You show God you love him by the way you live your life. But Jesus said, unless you believe that I am the Son of God, you don't have to have the her question was how can we condemn Muslims to hell when when, 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 when you're not condemning us Okay. Well, here, what did Jesus say? Jesus, uh, Jesus said this in, in John 3. He says, uh, he who believes in me is not condemned. That he who does not uh, believe uh, that I'm the only begotten son is condemned already. So we're not condemning anybody, but you condemn yourself by the way you live your life. Whoa! All of these, all of these, all of these. What's the cutoff? The cutoff is this. You reject Jesus as the Son of God. My answer, I know 
Many, many Germans, many Germans, many, many, many Irish were slaves. Many people, many generations have been enslaved. They, they look at the children of Israel. Look at the children of Israel that were slaves for, for generations. So, wow. lots of slaves. Wicked people do wicked things. We need Jesus. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say it. You really gonna have me say it? You gonna have me say it? Give me a hug, bro. Anybody else? I said I'm gonna go to hell because I beat my kids. Oh. That's what I love. That's what I love. Hell no. That makes me not want to be a Christian anymore. Okay. You won't give you don't like the method. What did you say? What, what did she say? Why do Why do we do it this way? Why Why is this the method? Why is good doing? people's on the list? You see, okay, it's obviously a pretty effective method, and this is the reason why. There's like. I don't know, maybe a hundred minutes. So you said it's a little bit. I want to do that. Surrounding us all. Hold me. It's a very effective soldier. I can't. I'm coming to you. It's a very effective soldier. We're all going to give an account for the calls. We're all going to give an account for the signs that we've seen. Some things that we've done. So this is one of many methods. That doesn't answer my question. All good people is on the list. Oh, yeah. That's like, should I be a super villain then? You're called to share your faith. You're called to go. Whether it be just sharing tracks with somebody, whether it be having a Bible study, each of us have to share our faith in Jesus Christ. But the reason we do this method, it's biblical. If you read the book of Acts, Paul went into the marketplace daily and continued. You want to know? Why is there people on the list? Yeah, I'll tell you. This campus here, right here, on the state, this is a market. Because you cleanse and Why obey God, not because we have any goodness of our own. It means that you are dependent on Him because to be good, not because of your good. We can't be good out of our own desires. We think we're doing good, but even the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things. Who can know? We need a new heart in Christ. Show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. So this is a command. That's the only thing on that list that makes a lot of sense. God will go out into all the world. God bless you. Whether it be here at the festival, the state fair, or whatever, this is what we were called to do. We were called the Great Commission. So, can you imagine? You're going to stand here acting all right because you're going to tell me that you've never done any of those things. You've never been prideful. You've never been disobedient. You've never lied. You've never fucking masturbated. And two. Well, because God is an intolerant God. God is intolerant. God is not going to accept you. Did you just call me a nigga? No. You saw it? No, I didn't. That's not why I'm not a racist. Oh, I'm not a racist. You're not racist. I didn't call you a racist. Her question, her question was, Can you go get Joseph, please? I got you, fam. Your question basically was, why do we come out here and do all of this? Can you go get your mask and come over here, please? Oh, why does everyone come over here? Why does everyone come over here? Why does everyone come over here? Well, the thing is, we have free will. We don't have to do what we say. These are not our opinions. This is what the Word of God says. And this is what you're going to be. You're going to be judged by the Word of God. And this is what the Word of God speaks. No, I used to do those things. I trust you, That's what Jesus told us to do. No, you don't do it. No, 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 no. Yes. 
Muslim. Again, you're trying to tell me my religion. Brother, you cannot tell me my religion. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Sure, sure. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus Christ wants to destroy the works of Muslims. Jesus
my God. Jesus can hear you. Turn to Jesus. He's alive. He wants to bless you. He wants to give your life. Don't shake your head at a blessing. And don't stay in such a magic head at a curse. That's the devil's job. That's the devil's job.
not going to be a part of it. It's going to be lit. I'll tell you that. Jesus says in hell there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. It's going to be horrible. Do it! He says it's going to be and blues, right? No, no, no. Weeping and gnashing of teeth. Oh, music too, dude. He says it's going to be burning. Jesus says in hell it's going to be a fiery furnace in Matthew 13. Hell is a fiery furnace. At least I'll never be cold. No, no, no. You're not cold. You're cold right now. Jesus says I'd rather you be cold. You're cold. You're spiritually cold. You're cold towards God. Demonic entities. 